It's your boy Jay checking in. Listen up, family. The Diddler is currently inside of a Brooklyn jail cell. On September 17, 2024, Diddy was housed at a New York Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York, where one other freak off MVP has resided, R. Kelly himself. Fetty Wap has also been housed at the center as well. Puff was taken to MDC after he was denied bail following his indictment on charges of racketeering, conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Now, the initial judge that he faced believed Puff could tamper with witnesses if he were let out of jail. He did have another bail hearing on September 18th, 2024, which he was denied bond again. Now, the judge found that the defendant could be a danger to society. And it wasn't that the judge thought he'd physically assault anyone or anything like that, but he could possibly contact witnesses and bribe them. Diddy will remain locked up until trial, which could be months or years from today. It has also been reported by federal agents that MDC, the prison that Diddy will be staying at, is known for barbaric conditions. This jail reportedly stopped accepting inmates earlier this month due to outrage of the conditions. Judge Gary Brown even vacated a nine-month sentence of a 75-year-old tax scammer that was convicted in federal court. He was sent to a Massachusetts medical facility to serve his time versus being sent to MDC at his older age. In the judge ruling, he detailed episodes of violence that occurred at this jail, including two murders and a stabbing attack that lasted 37 seconds without intervention from jail staff at all. Now, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York announced yesterday that Diddy faces up to life in prison if convicted of racketeering conspiracy or sex trafficking. Diddy has entered a plea of not guilty. Now, as the fans and celebs react to Diddy's allegations, Boosie Badass, the black male Karen himself, has entered the chat family. Boosie Badass believes Diddy is in jail for doing what every other famous entertainer has done. What? With, as he puts it, Diddy just being way more freaky. Boosie stated on Twitter, I feel like Diddy in jail for basically doing what every other famous entertainer has done. Flew witches out for threesomes. He just freakier. We actually gonna call women prostitutes who fly in willingly to be with their partners for sex? If that's the case, if you have been flewed out and had sex, you should be labeled a prostitute. If that's the case, that's 80% of the women reading this. And trafficking? Hashtag? Hell not. You're a celebrity. You gotta fly wussy in. How else you getting the wussy? You're never in one place. When I saw this video, I was pissed off at this nigga like he really got a problem. But facing life in prison for doing basically what so many other entertainers has done? Hashtag? I disagree. Now, Boosie would go on to say, I'm starting to feel like this sex trafficking charge for flying witches in for some threesomes will be a tool used to take down hip-hop artists and celebrities. Just think about it. Who flying they yeah yas in to turn up? Who always in a different city and gotta fly wussy to them? Who ain't tripping and go give they sex partner a little change? Think about it. This is real. If you fly a chick in, y'all turn up and you give her a little change so she's straight when she Gonna come, that's hashtag sex trafficking. Hashtag rappers, athletes, D-boys, politicians. Be careful who you fly in. Now, family Boosie obviously didn't get the memo that Diddy was allegedly hiring and flying in actual sex workers to engage in actions with Casey and power these sessions now known as freak-offs with drugs and liquid IVs. Wild Diddy would also watch and enjoy as Cassie was engaging in these activities. Boosie, as always, wrong and strong. But family, you tell me, what do you think about this situation? Hit the sub, drop a comment, leave a like, I drop daily content. I'm out.